Well, I start a blog, guys. This is uh, Mike Norris here, and I'm going to give you about, I don't know, three or four reasons to start a blog. I could give you a ton more, but I'm going to give you about three or four reasons why to start a blog, why you want a blog. First of all, it's a way to build trust and to get followers online uh, because as you as you blog more, as you put up more posts, videos, pictures, whatever, uh, people see you, they see your information, they're going to trust you, and you'll get more and more followers. Uh, it also helps convert your traffic because you got, uh, you know, you probably, if you've been online very long, you've got a lot of different traffic sources, or if you're new, you may just have a, a few traffic sources. Uh, most people have one or two main traffic sources, and then you have a lot of other little small traffic sources. It helps convert the traffic, obviously, because they see that you're an expert. You've put articles and videos and stuff up. They see you're an expert. Uh, you're not just some fly by night. And as long as, especially, you want to put up some really good epic content every now and then, you don't want every video to be two, three minutes. You don't want every article to be 350 words. Every now and then, you want a longer uh, how to video that really goes into detail on some stuff, or you want uh, a longer epic article, you know, um, maybe 1,000, 1,500, 2, even 3,000 words. Because uh, people, believe it or not, people still read. I'm a big reader, and people, a lot of people still like to read. It's a lot of times they'll have a video or something in the black background when they're doing something else. But when people concentrate and really study, uh, they like to read. A blog basically organizes your content. You can organize it by different categories. You can organize it by date. You know, there's different types of blogs. Some people have like a, like almost like a newspaper blog where content is by the day, the dates. Some people and most of us put it up by categories, and you can have as you know many categories as you want. And uh, you can uh, sell affiliate products. You can sell your own products. There's a lot of <coughs> different things uh, that you can can do with your blog. You know, having that blog gives um, people a reason to follow you. You know, without the blog, um, you know, you may if you got a bunch of YouTube videos up, people may follow you because you got YouTube videos. But that blog gives people a place to go when they know your stuff is there. And like I've got probably thirty-five or forty uh, blogs um, that I have as favorites. That I've got on my computer as favorites, and I'll go to them. Sometimes I don't go to some of them for weeks, but I'll read a bunch of their articles. They have really uh, great content. So that's another great reason to start a blog. You know, bottom line, it's just a tool where it, it makes it easy to put all your information in one spot and get your information out there to the public. So if you don't have a blog, I suggest that you start a blog, and I hope these three or four reasons give you. Uh, or tips give you a reason on why to start why to start a blog you definitely need one um, there are different ways to do blogs I've got one uh, one method below me that you could uh, can click on and check out um, I suggest that you you know you can a WordPress blog you can get a WordPress blog or you can get a free blog and there's other methods and I you know WordPress for some people they find it if you're new they find it a little daunting maybe but I've got a way, if you're brand new, you don't know anything about blogging, you want it really simple, you don't want to have to pay for hosting separate and everything, i got a way for you to do that. So I hope you found this interesting. Um, if you did, leave some comments below. And again, this little video is basically on why you need to start a blog. Talk to you later.